and welcome to our user management and security training video. My name is Andy and really excited about showing you how it works. We know that user management and admin roles is super important to you. I mean, you might not want your newsletter person seeing what, you know, each what they're donating or each person's donating from your congregation or your pastor might not want to see it either. Not only that, but you might want to send, you know, text messages messages from different phone numbers so that your pastor's not bombarded, you know, with replies from Awana updates. And what about member logins? We got you covered. The great thing about Continue to Gives is our robust user role system. This short video is really going to show you how the ins and outs of using this great feature. Let's get started. All right, many of you know your dashboard, so we're going to start here. And there are two main things that I want to point out. First, just a reminder that you are logged in as your organization when you log in and you can switch to yourself as a person. Now this for example would be yourself as a person. Now any of your donors that log in, this is what they see. You'll notice the side menu is shorter. They can see their donations, recurring donations. So any of your users logging in, of course they won't even have this option up here because they're just logged in as a person and they're menu options are significantly smaller than yours as an organization so they can get their tax statements they can see and edit their recurring donations even their credit cards they can see all that so as the first point i want to remind you that in continue to give you can manage yourself as a par person or yourself as an organization so switching back to myself as the organization here i am that is the first thing I want to point out in our training for users and admins, just so that you remember that. Next, I want to point out that we have what we call our giving portal. And then what we have is our management portal. And this is where we have a lot more advanced features for reporting, communications, everything else like that. This is the whole ball of wax put together. Just want to remind you that they are two separate portals for specific reasons. You'll notice that the side menu looks different. That's a good way to know which one you are in at the time. So keeping those two things in mind, let's jump into the first need you'll probably have for administrators. In the giving portal, you can add as many administrators as you want, which is really nice. You just go to settings, then you go to user management. And right here you can add more admins or if you want someone to receive email notifications of donations but you don't want them logging in you can add their email here you don't need to add someone as an admin and their email up here so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to make us another admin here and i'm just gonna give it a different email address now let's just say His name is Tom Hanks, and you can decide if that admin is going to receive donation emails or not. Now keep in mind, if this account already exists, it will simply add it for you. So you can add this new admin, and that admin can use our forgot password to create their password the first time logging in. All right, so we have gone ahead and we have added Tom to the admin page perfect so he's there he's in there he's going to receive the emails can switch it to no if you want now is what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and log in as tom all right now this is tom's first time logging in so he's gonna see all our great stuff here our training videos so i'm just gonna put that to don't show again now tom will have access to our management system so as far as permissions within the giving portal that's it it's all or nothing in the giving portal it's different in the management system so tom has full access because of course this is a giving 
he can see financials, he can see everything. So now let's say Tom wants to head over to the management portal. The very first time he's going to need to click his account and register here, which is really easy. He can watch some of the training videos or he can head over to the dashboard. Now that we're in the management system, we have a great user and roles management system because this is so much more advanced, so many more things that you can do. We've built you an awesome users and roles. So let's go into roles first. There are three predefined roles, the organization owner, which you are when you register. We've got the organization contact. So if people come and they create their account here, they will automatically be an organization contact with very limited rights within the system. And then we've also gone ahead and created you a non-financial user role. This is great if you have people that send out emails, but you don't want them seeing the financials, etc. So we have pre-built that for you, so you don't have to even think about it. You can just add people into that role. And then, of course, if you want to add new roles, you're able to. For example, we have a limited. These are just some we made. And you can tell, because I have the ability to delete the ones I made, I cannot edit or delete the ones that are built into the system. So, for example, this non-financial users role, we're just going to look at the permissions. So you can see they don't have any access to the API, counting, but they can see the child check-in, communications. So you can start seeing what they have and what they don't have. And if you want to make your own custom role that doesn't match this exactly, like I said, you can go ahead and you can just add your role here and you can put exactly what you want in there. Next, you can see the different people who have their different roles. So it's really awesome. You can go in. I did go ahead and create a non-financial user here. And if you ever want to add a new user, it's pretty easy. You can just add their information and select the role that you want them to have. So back here, I'm going to grab our non-financial user. Just going to get that username just because I want to log in with that person. So now I'm going to sign out and I'm going to go ahead and sign back in with that user that I created. And the cool thing is, is they can do mass emails for you. They can see all your contacts. And for example, if they go into a contact, they won't be able to see the transactions here. So it's really awesome that you can really limit it by those roles and everything. Now, let's say for example, I were to log in as just a normal contact. Here, you'll see that it's quite different, which is really nice. So I'm a contact in your system maybe a churchgoer, and I've got the picture directory, which is awesome. I can see people's names. I can go see all my own transactions. I can also go see small groups. See, it's very limited. We don't obviously want them working within your system, just seeing what they should be able to see. Maybe they want to upload a new picture or edit their profile. They can do that. And if they want to give, takes them right over to your fundraising page so that they can give quickly and easily. And they can also get over to their online portal as well from here, the online giving portal. Now I'm going to go ahead and log back in as our administrator. Well, I should first say that next, if you want members to be able to sign up and become a contact, you'll give them your URL up here whether you put this on your website or an email and you ask people to come in, you put it up there and they can go ahead and register. And this is what will make them an organization contact. And I'll show you how that works. So now you've sent out an email blast, you have it on your website so that people can come on in and become an organization contact. Now they're an organization contact, they could see the picture directory and they don't have to fear about 
forgetting people's names anymore. How awesome is that? All right, now I'm going to log out and head back in as our main. And voila, now I'm logged back in as an organizational owner with all the rights and privileges I need. Next, a really cool thing I want to show you is our ability to have multiple phone numbers associated with each admin. So if you go to settings right here and you go to SMS settings, you're going to notice I have multiple phone numbers. Now, since this is a demo system, they're all the same actual phone number. So don't worry about that. But the point is, is that you can have multiple phone numbers that way. So for example, you'll be able to label the phone number and give permissions to specific people who have access to this phone number when sending that phone number. Now, the reason that's so important is maybe you have a youth pastor who sends out a ton of text messages and you have a pastor who also sends out some. You don't necessarily want the pastor getting bombarded with replies when the youth pastor sends out messages. So this is a really awesome way to keep those messages segregated and also limit who's sending and receiving from which phone number. So just to recap, settings, roles, and here's where you can see the different roles. You'll also be able to see all your different users here as well under the users tab, or you can view them in their individual roles. These three are pre-made by us because they're very common. And you can also create your own and edit them as you can see here. So just a great way to be able to manage your users and the roles and the admins and everything. So I hope you enjoyed this training and can use this to further your cause. Well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's setup course. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to customer service at continue to give.com. I'd also encourage you to join our support group on Facebook at continue to give active users. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thank you so much and God bless.